Hey folks, and thank you for watching another episode of You Sold What? Today we're going to get into some of our, our sales. Some of the best sales, some of the mediocre sales, and then some of the worst sales. Some sales that we, we lost some money on. Not a lot of money, but we did lose money. We'll look at some specifics of those sales, those item specifics. Um, we'll look at Terapeak and see how in comparison, see some of the comps and, and look to see what others may have been selling uh, similar items for and see how we fared in, in that arena. We'll also look at Vendu and, and look to see how overall how the week went for us. What our, what our gross revenue was, what our profit was, how many items we sold. Maybe we'll look at some brands um, that, you know, some of the best brands uh, of the week. So anyway, um, oh, 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 yeah, and you'll never guess what marketplace we sold on. Stay tuned for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. As usual, I start off with our sales spreadsheet. This sheet is where all sales are recorded across all the platforms. Uh, we do transfer this data over into Vendu. Vendu is not only how and uh, how we manage cross-listing to multiple marketplaces, but it is also how we manage our inventory. Um, so anyway, so looking at this, I have highlighted uh, some sales that uh, that I wanted to um, to go over tonight. And our best profit margin or our best sale, the best margin on a sale, looks like it was this one, was uh, actually on Macari. Um, we're looking at a profit of $11.61. Let's go ahead and bring up that SKU in Vendu. Let's go back here to Vendu. We don't want Terapeak. Let's start with Vendu. And there we'll see that it's a women's suit jacket. It's an extra large. Um, our titles always begin with the brand, the gender, the item type, in this case a suit jacket, the size, and then some uh, fe features within the title or featured keywords. So looking at it, um, almost, almost looks, it was new with tags. So that would be the front and the back. We do put in all of our, our listings. We take pictures of how we um, obtain the measurements. We will put in the uh, any flaws, point those out, um, take a picture of all the tags, uh, the um, uh, fabric content tags, as well as the um, if it's there the um, uh, the care tag, um, the titles. We do keep we do have measurements within our descriptions, so those are always there. Uh, we do point out in the description uh, the condition, in this case, new tags. However, there are some loose threads uh, throughout. Um, brand is a Camis Camisa. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And some, some tags there. The... Uh, um, also, we do make use of, of Vendu keywords to help us. These show up when we're looking at the item. If we were to bring it up quickly, I don't have to go into the details of the listing. We can see the, um, uh, the highlights of the listing. So, yeah, $17. So let's look to see how this might be doing in Terapeak. Have any of these sold? Let's go back here. I like to scrape the title. Um, being, and this would be a suit, suit separates. Um, these would be, we don't have any actually. So we have nothing sold. We have nothing active. Let's go ahead and take out the brand here. And then we'll go suits and suit separates. And we'll change our condition to new with tags. Oh my goodness, how many is that? 
Yeah, so there's 15,000 of those. And just, for instance, kicks and giggles, new at tags. Well, on the average, they're selling $400, $401. Um, I don't know that we could have gotten that. Let's go ahead and sort these by. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not in that range, are we? So, yeah, that one's going to be a tough one to, to figure out whether we did it, how well we did. If we go with start date, let's see, that's active. What's sold? Sold is probably more appropriate. $35 sold in the app. Let's go by, let's go ahead and sort. Looks like a Zara. We could have gotten ninety dollars out of it with a um, new with tags, and then it just goes down from there. I'm not sure what our brand is, so um, well, it is what it is. What did we end up selling it for on Macari? We sold it for fifteen dollars and thirty cents. That does that sale price does not include the shipping. The buyer bought the shipping label directly from Macari. We never saw that amount. So we did, in fact, that was our sale price, was the $15.30. From that, we deduct our cost of goods, um, $2.69 in fees, tax. We actually profited $11, which isn't too bad for us. Um, $11 for what we sell what we stock our store with is 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 not too bad as you can see and that's a 75 percent profit margin all right what is the worst let's go ahead and get that out of the way um that is going to be this one f100 oh this one you know what i already know what this one is this one makes me sick but uh We'll go ahead. I have no idea what happened here. Uh, so this was actually this Cezanne men's leather coat. It's a suede. It's a size. It is a medium. It was a. It was leather. Oh my goodness, that's a nice looking coat. Um, way. Jeez, what happened here? Well, I think we got impatient. I don't know why it sat on the shelves or in the bin for uh, since August of 2022. Um, another thing that hurt us was the $15 and why we let it go at 35 I don't know. Um, I don't know. That one got away with us. But it happens. It does happen. Um, men's leather coat. I mean, certainly we should have. I think we should have gotten more than that. Just curiosity. I don't know that we're going to find that brand. But let's go ahead and see what they're running for on Terra Peak. Just because, you know, I'm not sick enough. We need to. It's going to be that. Well, shoot. $26. Well, that's ours. <laughs> there we go. There we go, folks. Um, active. Yeah. Active. Looks like somebody had it out there for $35. And then the highest was $60. I don't know. It's hard to say what that should have what that should have gone for um not a lot of them out there i don't know i don't want to kick this dead horse but i want to make sure we have a pretty good idea of what's what's happening here that was a used one so let's do we do have ten thousand leather coats and um you know higher brand names Sold, yeah, ninety dollars again. Probably should have got more out of that, um, but it is what it is, 
right? We'll take what we get. Um, did sell on eBay. Uh, total of th uh, $35 from that. We had to ship it for 15 That also killed us. I don't think we, we, um, we allotted or accounted for enough shipping on that. Um, so there were just a, a number of of errors made on that and as you can see we um, we lost about two dollars and fifty cents there so anyway it's no longer occupying space in our inventory uh, as I said it had been out there um, well it says since August of last year so it's, it's more than a year old no telling why it took this long to sell all right enough with that let's go back um where are we at oh do we have time for no oh yeah i did want to go over this one this is probably the sale that profit us profited us the most we're looking at 15 dollars, so that's the highest profit sale that was on ebay let's look go ahead and see what that was And guess men's jeans. Nice. All right. So, again, guess. And there are the skinny jeans, size 34. 34 is a pretty decent size. Um, these were in great condition. So, we are looking at a pair of guess jeans. They did sell pretty good money. Um, just curiosity. I wonder what they're going for. In Terra Peak, do we even have such a thing in Terra Peak? Men's jeans. So looking looking like they sell sell for an average of twenty six dollars. Um, high price seventy five or vintage. I don't know that ours are vintage. Anyway, an average of $26. Let's go ahead and look at our last sold back in September. Let's sort that. Looks like $26. Is, yeah, $25, $26 plus shipping. And what did we get out of these? We got $27 and then shipping so we 20 bucks out of there we did profit 15 dollars and that was mainly what i was trying to point out in this exercise um let's go ahead and go back here did we cover enough let's go ahead and look at our numbers in vendu vendu gives us a pretty good idea or if we for analytics we'll do custom and we'll do September through the 30th and we did that last week of September um, as you can see our gross sales were $787 we profited $365 we sold 44 and listed 42 the um, categories women's tops jeans pants sold some coats and some hoodies um, but mainly old navy sonoma chico's guess and talbots were our best uh, top selling brands and uh, ebay was all the way all the way around the um the best marketplace and speaking of marketplaces that brings us to what sold. We have an other other platform. It's it it is it is set to other here because actually Vendu doesn't. It's not one of the platforms that Vendu um, provides us to cross list on. It was a Bonanza. It was actually sold on Bonanza. This is a Mossimo women's jacket. It's an extra large. Um, we did end up profiting $19 on that. 
they went ahead and they paid full price for that and they played shipping so I guess by far that is our best sale at with a profit of $19 and nice jacket first sale it was a surprise to see something on Bonanza um, as I said Vendu doesn't provide that platform for us to cross list on however when we list to eBay Bonanza will pick it up and put it in our our booth as it as it's called and then when it sells on eBay it will then be delisted from the booth so banana Bonanza manages that inventory um, automatically for us so that's where we're at folks I think we'll go ahead and um, tell you about some other series that we we do here um, I do know your numbers that's on Sunday we uh, we go into more detail about what sold over the la over the week over the month compare that for the you know month to date we compare that to last year so we look at to see just it's kind of a, a month to date or um, a present day progress report if you will and then on um, Thursdays we do are we there yet in that one uh, I talk about our business our strategies what's working what's not um, what we are what we're implementing what we're going to try um, so if you're interested in in those sorts that sort of content please check those out and um, with that my name is Rich and I thank you for watching and I hope to see you back thanks <music>